You want to know another good reason why you should consider using a CNC machine to make guitars? You can make your own pick guards. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the guitar building videos that I post up here on my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you might consider supporting my channel by visiting my YouTube merch store. Down below the description for this video, you'll see my merch shelf. And on that shelf, I've got t-shirts, plans for building guitars, and plans for making the tools that we use to build guitars. And if you can't see that merch shelf, don't worry, there's a link in the description as well. So just know that any purchase you make is gonna help support this channel, plus you're getting something in return. Now, if you would like to support the channel, but don't wanna spend any money, that's okay too. Just be sure to click the thumbs up button. That'll tell YouTube to promote my videos. Now let's get on with today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be making the pick guard for the four string bass guitar build. And I'm gonna cut it using my X-Carve Pro CNC machine. The material I'll be using for the pick guard is a sheet of three ply pick guard material. This is a black, white, black sandwich. And I think it's like a eighth of an inch thick. And actually I purchased two sheets of this because I've never actually made a pick guard using the X-Carve Pro. In fact, I don't think I've ever made a pick guard using a CNC machine. So I wasn't really sure what the best cam strategies would be. So I ended up purchasing two and I cut this one as a test. And from it, I was able to make some adjustments to my cam strategies, which I hope will result in a better quality. Although this one isn't too bad. It would actually work quite nicely. Just would need a little extra cleanup. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the machine set up and I'll let you follow along as I cut this pick guard. I've got my three ply pick guard material clamped down to the wasteboard and I also used some double-sided sticky tape on the back and that just helps the material remain attached to the uh, wasteboard as I'm carving it because normally when I'm carving out a part like this, I use tabs to hold the part to the surrounding material. But in this case, I'm not going to be because I want to use a uh, V-bit to carve a nice bevel all the way around the perimeter. And the best way to do that is without tabs. So to keep that pick guard from flying around once it's been liberated from the material, I want to make sure that I use double-sided sticky tape to hold it down. Now I'm going to be doing two carving operations. The first is going to uh, involve using an eighth inch diameter single flute spiral upcut bit. And I'm going to be using that to drill the holes into the pick guard that will be used to mount the pick guard to the guitar body later on. It's also going to cut out the openings for the pickups as well as the neck. Now once that's done, I'm going to swap out to my 90 degree V bit and that's going to run all the way around the perimeter shape of the pick guard. It's going to cut it out and liberate it from the material, but at the same time, it's going to put a 45 degree bevel on that edge of the pick guard.
Well, I don't think I'm ever going to purchase a ready-made pickguard ever again. With this machine, I was able to cut it perfectly in 11 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, you may have noticed some fuzzy edges. That's actually the clear plastic protective sheet that's applied to the top of this. And I'm going to leave that in place until after I have finished assembling the guitar, then I'll peel it off because I don't want to scratch up the beautiful glossy finish. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, give this video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Be sure to comment, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. And if you'd like to help uh, you, the Highline Guitars YouTube channel financially and get something in return, you know, there was uh, those options that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So in the meantime, as always, until the next episode, take care and stay safe.